Let me ask you guys a very interesting question. Have you ever thought about what's the most prescribed drug in the US? It is actually a statin. Okay, what about in the world then? It is also a statin. I wonder why statins are the most common drugs that are being prescribed in the US as well as the world. There must be a problem here or there must be a common understanding we got to come to. Is it because doctors are over prescribing medication to patients and putting everybody on statin? Or is there a more common denominator here? We can say that in certain countries, people end up eating more processed foods, whereas other countries, but on a global standpoint, it is still a statin. So let's think of it this way. When it comes to the number one cause of death in the US as well as the world, what is it? It is coronary artery disease. And now you have atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk factors. When you think about it, hypercholesterolemia, specifically your LDL is the problem. So why do we get LDL? Are we gonna now sit down and blame that we were born with bad genetics and we were handed a bad card with familial hypercholesterolemia? It can happen 100%, but what is the real problem? It is because of the lifestyle and the path we have chosen to take. Are we really eating a clean diet and exercising like we are supposed to so we can maintain the LDL low or are we failing on that aspect every single day? Let me put it this way. What is an easier path to take? Is it eating a good healthy Mediterranean diet or a DASH diet and having a moderate intensity exercise for at least 150 minutes per week or a high intensity exercise for 75 minutes per week? Or is it easier for us to eat whatever we wanted, gain weight and never ever exercise and pop a statin? I think we can all agree to what the problem is. It is us. We should take ownership of our lifestyle and we should change so we don't ever have to take a statin ever again. I'll see you on the next one.